The Little Tin Soldier Once upon a time, a toy maker fashioned 25 soldiers from a piece of tin. They all carried muskets, they all looked straight ahead, and they all wore splendid uniforms of red and blue. At last, when it came to the last soldiers that were made, there wasn't quite enough tin. The toy maker only had enough to give the soldier one leg. But that soldier didn't mind. He was very proud to be different. He was very proud of his one leg. He stood erect, carrying his musket, looking straight ahead in his bright red and blue uniform. The toy maker placed all 25 soldiers tightly into a box. Then he carefully gift wrapped the box. They were a birthday present for a small boy named Jojo. When the little boy saw the box, he let out an excited yell. Ha <laughs> ha, tin soldiers, thanks mommy. Jojo emptied the soldiers out on the floor and selected the last tin soldier for the duty of captain because he was different and that made him special. Jojo placed him on top of the cupboard beside the toy hippo where the soldiers could see. A brown teddy bear, a slinky dog, an astronaut, a box labeled Jack, a magnificent castle with a swan floating on a lake, and standing at the castle door was the most beautiful girl the soldier had ever seen. He fell in love with her because, like him, she only had one leg. I have never seen anyone so beautiful. Lucy? Yeah, she is. She is always on one foot. She is a determined ballerina. Oh, I am sorry. I did not mean to be rude. I didn't realize I was talking out loud. Oh, you are a really good soldier, humble and respectful. I am honored, sir. Thank you. Oh, one more thing. Since you're here, you should know. Jack in the box toy is tricky and mean. Thank you for your kind advice, Mr. Hippo. That's all he said to Mr. Hippo. And then he said to himself, I shall make her my wife. But what the soldier didn't realize was that the beautiful lady was a ballerina, and these types of dancers held their other leg high in the air to dance. And that's why he could see only her one leg from his position. Every evening at midnight, when the clock struck 12, all the toys would come alive and they would play. The little tin soldier was determined that at that time, he would visit the castle and ask for the beautiful lady's hand in marriage. But another thing which he was unaware of was that the jack in the box was also desiring the ballerina as a wife for himself. At the stroke of midnight, he began to hop in the direction of the castle. Firstly, he jumped from the cupboard, and with many hurdles, he finally climbed the table to reach near the castle. Suddenly, the lid of the jack-in-the-box popped open, and a frightening and hideous face jumped out and stared down at the little tin soldier. <laughs> I'm Jack. She's out of your league, soldier boy. And anyway, you only got one leg. There was a moment of silence between them. You live in a box. She lives in a castle. Give up. The little tin soldier looked up at the castle. The beautiful dancer had been watching him. She smiled. He started bouncing towards the castle. Tin soldier! Jack practically spat the words out with a fury in his eyes. Don't wish for something that doesn't belong to you. The tin soldier ignored Jack's ominous voice. Very well. Wait until tomorrow. <laughs> Bad things will happen. An ill wind will carry you away. And with a fiendish laugh, he disappeared back inside his box. I wouldn't take any notice of Jack. The little tin soldier glanced towards the castle and the beautiful lady. 
He lay down beside the lake, watching the Lucy. Finally, he drifted off to sleep. From there, the soldier could survey the whole room, and the lovely Lucy was smiling at him. So he smiled back. But he can't see Jack's box. Suddenly, a gust of wind caught the curtain. It flipped the little tin soldier backward out of the open window. While he was falling, Jack's words tumbled through his mind. An ill wind will carry you away. And he heard Jack's fiendish laugh in the wind. <laughs> the little tin soldier landed on the pavement. Then, heavy drops of rain started to fall. It wasn't long before water was pouring down the gutter beside him. What bad thing is going to happen to me next? He said to himself, as if in answer, two boys came running down the street. They thought it would be fun to send a little tin soldier out to sea for an exploration. They quickly made a small sailboat out of an old newspaper and placed him inside. They sent a boat sailing down the gutter. The little tin soldier shouldered his musket. He wondered, Will I ever see my beautiful dancer again? Large waves rocked the boat up and down. Suddenly, the boat dipped down and rushed into a drain. The little tin soldier trembled. He held on to his musket tightly. What on earth is happening? I bet Jack is behind this. Inside the drain, it was very dark. In the distance, he saw what looked like the headlights of a car. As the boat floated closer, the soldier realized that the two lamps were in fact eyes the eyes of a huge, ugly water rat. It was the Border Patrol. He cried, Passport! The tin soldier remained silent. The water rat's hand reached out to make a grab for his passport, but the little tin soldier was too quick. He crashed his boat through the straw barrier and sped away. The rat gave chase. He screamed, Stop him! Stop him! He hasn't paid me his toll! He isn't got a pass! But the roaring water surged on. The little tin soldier could already see daylight ahead. Freedom! Freedom! I might still get home to see her smile once more. As the little boat rushed towards the daylight, the soldier heard a noise. It was a waterfall. The little boat shot out into the air. Way below was a canal. Mm, not again. Although he was frightened, he refused to close his eyes. The boat spun and swirled and crashed onto the surface of the water and finally drowned. The soldier was thrown into the thunderous water and everything went dark. He had been swallowed by a fish. As the soldier lay in the fish tummy for several hours, a flash of lightning struck. Then he heard a voice which he recognized. Oh my goodness, it's the little one-legged soldier! The fish that had swallowed him had been hooked, taken to the market, and sold to Jojo's mother. When she sliced it open, she found the little tin soldier. She carefully dried the soldier and then put him in the castle next to the beautiful dancer, and left. The soldier sees her smile, and his heart melted. He bowed down to ask her for marriage, and sees her other leg. He got disappointed, because he thought she could never say yes. But suddenly, he heard a soft voice. You are a Captain Tin, right? Uh, yeah, yes, ma'am. I want to say something. Please, go ahead, ma'am. I love you since I saw you on that cupboard. Will you marry me? Little Tin Man was surprised, and he quickly said yes. But then the clock chimed midnight. Jack came out from his box. He was looking furious as rage filled his eyes. He quickly drew a sword from his box and said, I told you not to wish for what doesn't belong to you. Lucy is mine. Prepare to die. Little Tin Soldier rose up and put forward his musket, 
which had a bayonet. They started fighting in front of the castle, and suddenly, Little Tin Soldier put his bayonet in Jack's box and swing him back towards the burning stove. With a loud scream, Jack fell into the burning stove, and he burnt to his death. Little Tin Soldier and Lucy hugged each other, and they went straight to the palace to live. Then they lived happily ever after. The End If you enjoyed this story, please like and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get future updates. And don't forget to comment!